Hi, welcome to the Blade Master Tank Guide for Tom Keeper. So the main thing you need to do is make sure you have Bonk and Soul Shatter with Winter Wraith so you can stay alive. And the other thing is Bloodshell Blade with Blood Girdle so you can keep the boss load. Other than that, remember to summon your pet and use your consumables. I am going to consume all three of the winter buffs. The main idea here is to get your bonk level up and keep the boss low. Let's wait for them to start. I was planning to use the previous video for this tutorial, but then everyone died. So I'm guessing they're just thinking about how not to die. Maybe I should just start it myself. Oh, and I suggest having Four Seeker with Commander's Cross to help take aggro back. Start off by getting the mini UI so that you can keep track of the stagger bonk and status effects. I normally start off by emptying out my rage with Winter Wraith plus Rupture and getting the bonk up. Remember to use your Fro Seeker as soon as it is off cooldown. When we are approaching Stagger, I will use my Soul Shatter plus Rupture to empty my Rage Pool and then use my ultimate to proc the Stagger. This is for optimal damage. For now it is not as important, but when Crystals come, you need to make sure to keep the boss load. You can see here that I applied the slow effect before I jumped. This is to make sure that the boss stays slowed until I land. Then I'll go back in and apply it again. It's just for good practice. We're getting close to Stagger. I'm going to empty my Rage Pool with Soul Shatter plus Rupture. I'm going to use my Ultimate. Now we are at Bookshelves. As always, remember to keep the boss slowed to allow people to fly and for those that stay down here to maximize damage. Keep it slowed and it's about to come down. Okay, remember to get that bonk up. If you have a reliable Blade Master support, make sure you are always maximizing damage output by using up your rage before stagger. You can see that I'm keeping the boss slowed. I'm going to apply one more and then get ready to jump. We are approaching Stagger, so I will use my Four Seeker, but I don't have my ultimate, so I'm going to save my Rage for Stagger, since I'm not sure if my Blade Master has an ultimate off cooldown. Okay, so that went well. I'm going to apply a slow. You can see here that we skipped the first dogs. This was done using a mana dump. We have another video that covers Tome Keeper advanced mechanics, so please do watch that. So lasers are coming, we just step away towards the side of the boss while the red circle around the boss is active. Then we just go back in and maintain damage. I don't suggest blocking the lasers because sometimes they go through and they could kill you. So I'm going to slow the boss and just keep getting the bonk level up. Now it's about to come down. Okay, so we are approaching Stagger. I'm not sure if my Blade Master support has an ultimate, so I'm just going to save up my rage. Ideally, you want to communicate with your teammates to be aware of everyone's cooldowns and optimize damage. I am deafened and muted for this video. That's why I'm playing safe. Yeah, so she didn't. It's good that I kept my rage for the Stagger. Someone took the aggro from me. So I can just soul shatter and use Four Seeker to take it back. So now, second round of dogs are coming. Remember, keep the boss slowed. If there are dogs around you, kill them, but don't make the boss turn towards your teammates. It is critical that you keep the boss slowed. If you have a little bit of extra rage, feel free to slow the dogs as well. 
Okay, so tornadoes happen. I'm going outside the inner circle so that they don't hit my teammates. But at this stage, ideally you should have someone else slow the boss or use a speedy pet to not run out of stamina while running. Also note that I'm not sprinting. I'm using my dash before the tornado lands. Okay, so ring is coming. Ugh, I just got hit. I should have stayed in the air. Okay, so I need to get back quickly and slow the boss. Get the bonk level up and keep slowing the boss. Since crystals have spawned, it's quite important to keep the boss slowed using your blood chill blade, otherwise its movesets might overlap. Okay, so we are approaching Stagger. I'm going to keep my rage since I'm not sure if my Blade Master support will use an ultimate or not. Okay, let's cancel this. Let's use my Soul Shatter with Rupture. I should have used my ultimate to proc the stagger. Okay, so bookshelves are up. I'll use Force Seeker to get my rage back, slow the boss, and continue to hit with Bonk. I am actually quite fortunate that I have a Blade Master support with Judgment and a mage with chilling loop to help keep the boss load. The rest is just rinse and repeat. So the optimum steps would be to use up your rage before stagger, use your ultimate to proc the stagger, dash in place for inspiration, wait for Amara's radiance, spam soul shatter through stagger, and then use four seeker plus soul shatter to take aggro back. This is most likely the last stagger and we're going to kill him now. So yes, that is pretty much the raid. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section or DM me in Discord. Good luck with your raids and remember to touch cross. Tornadoes. <laughs> Choose where you want to look. Oh my god, he keeps on going back and forth. <laughs> Second round of dogs are here. This is the round where people normally die. So you need to be aware of the boss's movements and keep him slowed. This is where the mini UI comes in handy. Lasers coming. So you need to make sure that you're not facing your teammates. Guys, what just happened? <laughs> Good question, man. <laughs>